One of the biggest features announced from Google recently is called Circle to Search and was initially released with the Galaxy S24 series. But as of today, it's finally made its way over to the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro only, at least for now. Since this feature is so new, I'm sure you all have a ton of questions or just want to see how it'll work on Pixel devices. So I wanted to make this video real quick to show you how to get it active, give you a quick demo on how it works, and give some simple but effective tips to maximize your usage. Getting right into it, let's talk about how you can get this activated if you haven't already. For most people, it's sort of just appeared overnight, but for others, it still isn't showing, meaning there probably is a few missing pieces here. First, make sure you run the latest January security patch, and more importantly, make sure your Google search app is up to date from the Play Store. Specifically, you want your version number to have a CTS tag somewhere on the line, which of course stands for circle to search. In my case, I have the function working on version 15.3.35.29, at least for now, but I'm sure this will change as updates continue. If you already have both the January security patch and the latest Google search update, just be patient because that means you're most likely waiting for it to be activated on server side. At this point, you'll either have circle to search working or not, and you'll be able to tell by holding down on the navigation bar or the home button if you're using the old school three button layout. Users with the feature active should notice a simple on-screen demo with a try it now option and tapping on that will launch the feature immediately. You can circle, tap, or scribble on a person, place, or thing to get more information about it with the biggest draw being the ability to get AI generated insights and ask questions in the same casual way that you would with an AI chat bot like Bard or ChatGPT. It also serves as an easy to use contextual overlay on top of the app you're in. The only issue is the AI assisted multi-search portal portion of the update does not seem to be live at this time, so currently we only have the Google Lens framework to play around with. Don't get me wrong, the current implementation is pretty interesting in my opinion. Some searches like landmarks, dog breeds, or prominent figures will give you quick access to Google's knowledge panel that will give you some additional context. Meanwhile, most other searches will show you Google images results or links to purchase the item in question. In practical day-to-day -day use, I think I can see myself using this a lot inside social media apps to identify locations or architecture that I want to get more context on. The same goes for interesting items that catch my eye inside TikTok videos or YouTube shorts, since it's always a pain to go digging in the description to find out what a certain item is. There are also huge benefits like identifying certain recipes so you can make them at home, or if you're a big Facebook marketplace kind of person, you can quickly identify the item you're looking at and price it out accordingly. Obviously, let's not forget the value it has on a surface level since it is immediate access to Google search at all times, as well as a quick shortcut to the original version of Google Lens to snap a photo of an object to identify it. As I mentioned earlier, circle to search is only available on the Pixel 8, 8 Pro, and Galaxy S24 series for now, and as a Pixel Fold user, it kills me that we don't have this feature. But it's worth mentioning, you can technically do all of this on older Pixel devices with a few extra steps involved, and I'll show you real quick. Probably the easiest way to replicate this feature is to find the item you're searching for, go to your Recents menu, and hit the Select option at the bottom right. From there, you can tap on an eligible item and hit the Google Lens icon, which will give you the same results as Circle to Search. You can also use the Google Assistant Search screen contextual chip, which will take the content you're viewing and throw it into Google Lens, just like Circle to Search. Or if you're really old school, you can take a screenshot of the content and upload it to Google Lens manually. As I said, the only thing you're missing out on are the fancy animations and the ease of use by not having to leave the app. On top of that, starting this week, Google is bringing AI-powered multi-search results to Google Lens as a whole. So even though you'll miss out on the UI elements, functionality-wise, it should be exactly exactly the same, which can at least get me by until Google figures out how to add circle to search on older Pixel devices. Last but not least, I wanted to show you how to turn off circle to search if you're the kind of person that knows they are not going to use this in the future. The process is pretty simple, and all you have to do is go to the gesture navigation settings, hit that cog icon, and you'll see a toggle under search called hold handle to search, which of course will deactivate the gesture. 
overall, while this isn't a huge groundbreaking feature, the important thing to me is that Google is making AI-assisted searches a more casual, easy to use experience that doesn't require much effort on the part of the user. You really just summon the feature and circle the item you wanna know more about, which to me is something we're probably gonna see much more of in 2024. Either way, guys, let me know what you think of circle to search now that it's finally on Pixel devices. Do you see yourself actually using this on a daily basis? Have you found any practical use cases that most people aren't thinking about? Leave a comment and let me know, but in the meantime, I'm getting out of here. This has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.